The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're taking a look at the all-new SeaDoo RXP X260. In my opinion, its key features are looks and technology. Let's take a look starting with what SeaDoo calls its Ergolock system. The Ergolock system features a combination of this narrow racing seat with knee grab design, adjustable handlebars, and angled footwell edges all working together to really let you lock yourself in when cornering hard. The technology aspect really comes into play with this interactive multifunction digital information center that allows you to select between 31 key operating functions, all selected with the push of a button. And the angular mirrors are mounted well up high out of the dock strike zone. The VTS, or variable trim system, provides preset positions for adjusting the boat trim at the push of a button, and see do added trim tabs that limit bow rise and your ride is more parallel to the surface of the water. And adjustable sponsons let you further dial in the ride you're looking for. The RXPX260 has 30.8 gallons of storage, and notice how the compartments can be opened with one hand. Let's take a look under the seat at the engine. Here we have a 1503 XHO Rotax 4 tech engine with a supercharged intake system, external intercooler, and 60mm throttle body. Now one important factor of this engine is that it has a closed-loop cooling system. That's something you saltwater enthusiasts are really going to appreciate. And it all runs on 87 octane fuel. And because this engine is digitally controlled, SeaDoo utilizes the intelligent throttle control system that allows you to dial in specific parameters in multiple modes to get just the kind of operation you desire. To the rear we have an aft deck measuring 41 inches across, grab handles for the passenger in the aft seat. Exclusive to this line is the new T3 hull which has a multi-level running service to help you cut through the water and allows for more precise cornering, enhances lean-in and tracks straighter and chop. Overall, the RXPX260 has a length of 10 feet 10 and a half inches. She's 48.3 inches wide and has a dry weight of only 812 pounds. She's designed for two people and has a fuel capacity of 15.9 gallons. All these features, plus the striking good looks, all come together very nicely along with the SeaDoo technology in the RXPX260. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.